In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make adjustments to images and make some tweaks to a layout to make it your own. So let's go. So say if I wanted to start with a dextrous layout here, um, I'm going to choose one that I want. And I like the look of this one here because it's nice and simple. So I'm going to save it to my layout. So it's this Robin Hood one. But I can see that I can make um, some cool looking creature cards with this layout. So now I've got that layout saved. I'll head over to projects and I'll make a new project. And in this project, I will add a component. And the component's just going to be a set of cards. And I'm going to use the existing layout. And I'm going to select that layout, the Robin Hood layout that we just saved. So I'm good to go now. And here I am. And I've got some images in mind. I want to choose, um, I've got a folder called Magic Characters here. So I'll go in and I'll grab the first guy here. And I'll just duplicate this card a few times. And I'll go across and I'll just populate this with images and see if you can see the problem that starts to develop here. So if I just go down, these images are pretty different. So I'm just like imagining a user um, who's just gotten a few quite, quite different images um, on the boil. Um, and for the last one, I'll make him this little chicken dude. Cool. Now I'll just zoom in a little so you can see. I'll just highlight all the cards too. Um, so you can see what's going on. So these look pretty good. This guy looks like he's getting cut off at the top. This guy looks pretty good, actually. This guy looks fine. He looks a little low to me. He looks a little high. He's a little high again, and he's a little high. Um, and the reason this is happening is because the images that I've chosen are actually these long rectangular images, whereas the zone that I'm putting them into is a square, essentially. So there's a few ways to deal with this. You could just say, well, I'll choose images that are more like a square, and that would be the simplest and cleanest solution. But say if you just wanted to use this art and you just wanted to move things around a little bit, you could modify the layout. So if I'm going to modify the layout, I'll click here, Edit Layout. So this takes me to the layout here. And if I click on the image, so this is the main image, you can see here it's a square, whereas my images here are rectangular. So if I click one of these, you'll start to see the problem straight away. So if I click on this, chick click on this chicken dude, uh, he's getting cut off there at the top. Um, now, of course, what you can do, the image position the size here is set to cover. I could go contain, but the problem here, of course, is that we get these awful sides here, which wouldn't work at all. If the card design was different, um, contain actually might be the way to go. But we do want to stick with cover just because we want this nice full image on the back of the card there. Um, but the problem is he's too high here. So let's also just make some really quick adjustments. So I'll just move these guys down. So I'm just using my arrow keys here. Arrow keys, sorry, excuse me. Um, and these are moving by the snap um, size, which is currently a quarter of those um, grid squares on the layout here. But I also want a new zone. So I can just create a new text zone here. And I'll just change this to a number so it's nice and clean. And I'll make it a bit smaller. So that's a square there. And let's give it a background color. And let's grab. So this is a handy little tool here. If you're on Chrome, you can use this. Um, maybe I'll go this color, this nice blue color down here. So it's the same as the title. So it'll stand out because this is going to be a cost zone, I think is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to change the border. I'll give it a border. And I'll make the border this color here. So that'll stand out. So I've got a square there. It looks kind of weird. Um, and I'll change the shape of it. So if I go to, where is it? Uh, positioning here. I want a nice octagon. So this is starting to look a bit better. The font is completely different and wrong. So I'll just click on this zone here to see what's going on. So I'm clicking here. And I'm seeing, okay, the font size is 22, and it's Poppins. Um, so I'll go font size 22, oh, 122, goodness me. Font size 22, and Poppins is a sci-fi font. I mean, obviously, it's not sci-fi. I've just characterized, um, categorized it as that. 
and white text. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And I'll call this zone here maybe like cost or something. Cost. It in the table. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. Um, and this image we've seen is not the perfect size here. I'm just going to actually move this up a little bit. So I'm going to hold Control and my arrow keys to move it up and across by two pixels each. I like it nice and tucked into the corner there. And then I'll save and close this layout. Uh, go back into my untitled project here. So here we go. Um, so they're, they're looking pretty good. So how am I going to fix this image problem? Well, the cool thing is I can adjust the images. So I can go to this guy. He's a little bit cut off there. Oh, actually, hmm. Maybe he's as good as I'm going to get without cutting off his, his weapon there. But this guy, I can definitely push him down a little. So I can click this adjust image icon and I'm going to just pull him vertically down a, a little, just down touch, maybe there. That's nice. This guy, I'm going to bump him up a little bit vertically. So, oh, what did I just do? Oh, there we go. Yeah, something like that is nice. This guy can come down and so on and so forth. So yeah, you can just adjust these. Um, on the fly pretty easily and just make sure that the cards look how you want them to look. And so, yeah, that's how you get the images that you want and how you'd modify a zone. Um, you can change things around. Obviously, you can delete these zones and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's the end.